Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Chatting with Chops. Today we're going to make vegan blonde brownies for two. So we're going to cut down a pretty large recipe and make these vegan. So how about we get started and start collecting ingredients? So starting out with making vegan blonde brownies and we're going to half the recipe and like I've showed you in videos before I just put a sticky note over the regular recipe so that I'm only using the half. Alright so we're the first thing we want to do is put our flour, baking soda, and salt in a bowl and sift it up a little bit. So to half this recipe we need to do one and a third cups flour. Here's our one cup, and then we need, uh-oh, putting it away too fast. We need our third cup, okay. All right, now we're going to take and do one and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. that a little stir. All right. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is put in our bowl our melted butter. And what I've done is, since we are making this vegan, I have my vegan butter and we've split the recipe so it's a third of a cup of butter. And if you have the nice little sticks that have the sections off for you, that's five and a third tablespoons. So we have a third of a cup of butter that I've had resting on the counter for a few minutes since I had to melt it. I didn't want it to get all, get everything all hot. And then we're going to put in our brown sugar. And we need one and an eighth cup brown sugar. one and then we need an eighth of a cup which I have this nifty little uh, measuring cup that my husband bought for me that actually has an eighth of a cup on here so we're just gonna fill it up till it's about an eighth of a cup all right and then we're gonna blend that all together So we blended all that up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to beat in our eggs, which again, we're making this vegan. So we're actually using, I like to use these little uh, four ounce containers of applesauce. I'm using Mott's. You can use Kroger, you can use Walmart, whatever brand you like to use. I just recommend doing the no sugar added. That way you're controlling how sweet your recipe is without adding more by an ingredient. So since these are about four ounces, it's about two medium eggs. And okay, so since the original recipe was three eggs, we've split that in half. So we're kind of doing one and a half eggs, which equals out to be about three ounces of applesauce. So now we're gonna add that into our brown sugar butter mixture. I also wanted to make a comment. Please remember that most of these recipes that I'm trying out for the first time, I have not made vegan before. I've made blonde brownies lots of times, but never made them vegan or split the recipe. So this is kind of a trial and error as usual. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna add our flour mixture. And if you remember, this was flour, baking soda, and salt. So now we're just gonna add that into our wet. And the last thing we're gonna do is add in our vegan chocolate baking chips. And they're becoming a lot easier to find. But I found these at, you know, again, my Walmart. And now I will tell you, you can't always go by it being saying that it's organic. 
you want to look for things that say like allergy friendly or this one is beautiful because it says right there vegan but there is the chocolate is getting to be a lot easier to find here recently so i'm just going to add five ounces of that to my brownie mixture And I usually add that kind of quickly and then stop it as soon as possible because I don't really want to pulverize all my chocolate. I want it to stay in nice little chips. And now what I'm going to do is get all this wonderful batter off of my beater. And while you're doing this would be a great time to go ahead and get your oven preheated to 350 degrees. So it's ready when you're ready. Okay. Right. And what I've already done is I have prepared a baking sheet with aluminum foil with a little bit of cooking spray on it. So this makes the brownies much easier to get out of the pan and whole pieces. So we're going to take this and do a nice little scoop. Make sure everything is blended in. Again, nobody wants to get a brownie square that has a big clump of flour in it. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can spread this out a little bit on this cookie sheet. I'm not quite sure um, how much of it it's going to take because normally this recipe makes a pretty good size plate of brownies. Now this is a smaller uh, cookie sheet than I normally use, but we're going to see how much of this we really need um, period for this uh, brownie mixture since we've cut it in half. So I'm just going to kind of pour this out on one end because I might not even need the other end of this cookie sheet. Now you could, if you wanted to make your brownies super thin, you could spread it out on the whole cookie sheet and that just makes them that much thinner. But we're just going to play with it and see what happens. All right, I think we've gotten all of our cookie dough out brownie dough and we're just going to try and spread this out a little bit on the aluminum foil. I don't want them to be super super thick because then it'll take a while for them to cook and you kind of have to worry about them still being wet in the middle. Okay. Get me some sides. There are some people out there that love their crispy sides of their brownies. Okay. That's about as far out as I'm going to spread it. Like I said, I want them to be a little bit thin, but not too terribly thin. All right, I'm going to stick this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to start checking it. The regular recipe says 25 to 30, but again, ours are not as thick, there's not as many of them, and we have thinned it out a lot, so they may cook a lot faster. So we're going to start out at 10 minutes and see how they look. All right, so we ended up cooking them for 30 minutes, which seemed like a long time for a small batch of them, but we've cooked them for 30 minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them sit here and cool in the pan for about an hour because we really want them to be nice, clean cuts when we cut them. So I'm just going to leave it all like this and leave it for about an hour to cool. And all right, so we cooked our brownies and we let them cool for about an hour. Now we're going to just pop them out of our pan. And what I normally like to do is try and pull the aluminum foil away first. And then take... Because your top, you want your top of your brownies to look the prettiest. So what I usually like to do is try and flip them over onto a cutting board and peel the aluminum foil off that way. It looks like they're still going to be kind of sticky. We watch our corners. You want to cut your brownies from the bottom. That way it keeps your top, the top of your brownies looking all nice and pretty. Let's see if we can get some of these cut up and see what they look like. Ooh, nice and crispy. Mm. 
Got some nice crisp edges. Okay. There's your brownie. That's a nice thin corner, so that's going to be nice and firm. Mmm. Very nice and crunchy. I made them thin so they wouldn't be too gooey gooey. You do have some gooeyness in there. But there you go. There is your blonde brownies that we made vegan. And we cut the recipe in half. And as you can imagine, if this was half the recipe, how many brownies you get. Now, obviously, you don't have to cut the recipe in half if you don't want to. It's just if you're baking for two or you have an event that you want to bake for and you don't need a huge platter of brownies to take, then you can just half this recipe up. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe. And I have started a new channel called Karen Norwood Travel. And I, we do a lot of like camping videos and just lo more low budget videos um, for traveling that my husband and I go on. So go check that out if you're interested in that kind of thing. And I'll catch you on the next bake.